All right, so here's the project. You have to get a Google Cloud Linux server, like I say, you can get a free one, you get $200 a free trial. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you really don't want to use a cloud service, I recommend doing it anyway, because everybody should know how to use them. But you could, in principle, set up a home system and then do port forwarding from your router to get a public IP address on your home system if you want to do that. But I really don't recommend that, because even if you do that, then now you've exposed your home system to attacks because you're going to run vulnerable code. So anyway, make a Google Cloud server and then uh, open the firewall as uh, we'll talk about it later. You open a Google Cloud server, you can then run code in the cloud. And I think I'm just going to talk about these rather than try to demonstrate them live because it's pretty simple. Now you have to make a PHP server and all you have to do is install some PHP and Apache stuff. This is making your server have Apache and PHP, most of a LAMP server. Now you can show that PHP works. The standard way is you make this file, which runs PHP info, which will just show you some parameters about your PHP install. Now you have to open the cloud firewall to allow port 80 through. And then in your Google Cloud system, you'll have an external IP address, which you can access it. And so, after you've let port 80 through, uh, see here, default allow HTTP, um, then you can open it in a browser and see PHP info. So you will now have your own public server running HTTP on a public IP address, and you can run PHP info and see things. So now, another thing you got to do, this is an appropriate development server, but or a, a, a production server. But for developers, you want to see the errors. And I found this out, of course, as I went ahead in the projects and made errors. You'd really rather see error messages. So there is a configuration file where you add this line, display errors equals on. And now, if you make a bad PHP page, here's one that's the same as the last one, except I added an X here. So it calls a non-existent routine PHP in Fox. And so when you view that one now, it'll show you the error. Um, there's a function being called that doesn't exist. So that's what you want for a development server where you're going to be writing code. So that's what the first this project is, is just to get your PHP server working. Now I'm going to stop this recording. That's the first two projects.